Okay, so this is the last video in this series, and um, so fundamental problem number 19, and wow, look at that. What in the world is going on? So what you're going to want to do is just pause the video and study that thing carefully and get your head around it. Like, what in the world is happening there? Pause it. Pause it. Okay. So anyway, here we go. So let's um let's start with um the A B C beam. Okay, so the horizontal one there, all right. Um B is gonna have to be up, okay, because it's a rocker, and there are no other options except for it to be up. So there's B. Okay, now C is getting pushed on, okay, and it feels a force here. Okay, so C is over here like this. Now, because it's frictionless, that that peg can, I mean, if, it, if there's any sliding this way, it doesn't cause any friction. And... If it didn't say smooth, if it didn't tell us there was no friction, then we wouldn't actually necessarily know the direction for C. Okay, it could be down at an angle like that, but maybe it's tilted a little bit one way or the other. But because of the fact that it's frictionless, because it's smooth, we're guaranteed that it's acting perpendicular to the slot opening. Okay, now um, A, I mean, we've got the 800 Newton meter twist going on there and left to its own devices, the whole thing would try to rotate around this way, wouldn't it? And also C pushing on this end is going to try and make it rotate around that way too. So because of that, I'm going to say that AY is actually down, okay? That that's holding down that way, okay? Otherwise, I think the whole thing would be like, whoop, try to come up like this. Um, but it's a guess. If I'm wrong, and then it comes out negative, and, you know, that's awkward, but I'll live. Okay, so there's C. Now, C has a component to the left, and B can't do anything to the right, and so all of that comes out over here here just like that okay all right so let's actually begin with our horizontal forces um, so here we go and so we're gonna have ax minus cx so ax is CX and that is just C cosine 45 okay so if we had C boom we plug it right in there and we're good to go okay um, let's do our vertical forces okay so we were we are guessing that a y is down then B, of course, is up. And CY has a component down, minus C sine 45, like this. Okay. Oh, okay, interesting. So that, that depends strongly on C, too. So if we get, we're going to have to know C. All right. Let's move to our moments. And let's sum our moments around A. Since we don't know AX and AY, that'll eliminate that for us. So we've got that 800 in there, okay? And the 800 is, uh, is uh, clockwise. There, let's just double check. Yeah, okay, so that's in there as a negative. And then I've got B up, 
and that's a distance of two. Try to double check my, yeah, two up. And then the C is also neg negative, oh, two B, sorry about that. Minus four CY, which is C sine 45, and that's equal to zero. Okay. All right. <clears throat> well, hmm. AXCB AY. So I have four equations and I got three unknowns, or sorry, four unknowns and three equations. So I've got a problem. But again, that's okay. I have a whole nother piece of this thing that I can deal with. So let's look at it. Okay. And so we have the 600 pushing down here and it feels the, an opposite push for C. Okay. So if we put those over here, what we're, what we've got is this, what was that? 600, 600 here. And then there's C. Okay. Now, if we look at our geometry, uh, we got a meter and a half on all of our distances there. So that means C is out twice as far as the 600. Okay. And um, so is that point D? Yeah, it's point D. Okay. All right. So we're looking at um, negative 1.5 by 600 plus 1.5. C is zero, and um, anyway, so there that matches our intuition that tells us that C was 300, okay, like that. Oh, nice, okay, cool. Okay, I'll make it a little bit bigger for you. <clears throat> okay, so I wanna take my 300 and I want to dump it in right here. Okay. Now I'm not going to go through all this algebra. You should do that on your own. Okay. Um, but when you do that, you're going to end up with B is equal to 824.3. Okay. Um, then plug that in over here. There's my B, there's my C. Okay, and I can use my C over there. And so then AY is going to pop out um, in this relationship here. And then here's where I'm going to get my AX relationship over here. Okay. All right. And I'll let you work through the algebra there on that. Um, we won't take the time to do that here. But um, yeah, there you go. So this one looked really complicated. Um, but um, turned out not to be okay and that's that's often the case okay that's often the case and so you know pick a piece to start with you know it actually if I had started with that diagonal piece it would have been a little bit easier but I didn't I didn't know that ahead of time there's no way I could have known that and so you know it's just like oh well, I need more information let's look at the other piece boom comes right out for you okay there you go. 